Excellency, uh, with one of the most disciplined students in Taita, Tabeta County. Now, here we get to interact with one of the most diplomatic student leaders in this school, one on one on an interesting, lovely, excellent uh, media. Please welcome Your Excellency, Mr. Thank Charles Thank you. Now, thank you very much for coming in this studio and uh, what are uh, your challenges that you are facing in your post as a leader? Uh, there are a lot of challenges as a leader that I face. One of them is indiscipline of the students, and the second one is the attitude of the students towards academics and towards the teachers that they give them the knowledge. Now, how do, how do you cap that, 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 that challenge that they are facing students to you? If I talk about the attitude towards academics, together with my fellow students, we have tried by organizing some few guidance and counseling programs to the students so that they can change their attitudes towards academic and about the indiscipline issues we just try to talk to them those who are in discipline give them some advices so that you can give them time to change thank you very much for that and now what is your vision after school my vision after school one is to pursue law and the second one to be an entrepreneur and the third one is to maybe join in politics Thank you very much. So you are looking forward to be a politician, yes? Yes, I like it so much to be in politics. Thank you very much. And so what have you achieved so far in knowledge? My leadership, what I've achieved is at least I've seen so many of the students in St. Mary's. They have changed apart from their days back. There are a lot of indiscipline cases in this school, but nowadays we are afraid to cover them. And the students have changed their attitudes towards learning. Yes, yes, and who is your mentor? I have two mentors. One is the late John Pome Makufuli, and the second one is Barack Obama. Thank you, the Barack Obama, the superior county, you say? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. And now, how would you inspire young leaders who, who young leaders who ought to become leaders back What I can tell them is that they should believe in themselves first. And the second one, leadership comes from God, and they, they should not be in a hurry to be a leader. A leader is an, is an easy thing and a hard thing, so they should take time and they should always trust in God, and if they are given a chance to be a leader, they should show what they are capable of. Thank you very much. Now, many a times when a student gain a, a, a leadership in a certain post in Kenya or in high school, he tend to forget about the academic work. Now, how do you balance your academic, academic and leadership? First, when you are a leader, you should know to manage your time and to make time. For example, when you are a leader, you are, your fellow students are in class, they are continuing their studies. Maybe you have leadership duties that have covered you. That time that you have wasted during that time, you should make time later so that you can recover. Because the teacher will not wait for you until you finish your work, it will not continue the syllabus. He or she must continue the syllabus. It upon you as a leader to make that time to cover the time that you have wasted during your leadership duties. And always, there's time for everything. There's time for studies and time for leadership. When it's time for study, it's upon you to start, start. Time for leadership, do your leadership duties. Thank you very much. And please, can you tell us about your able board uh, uh, principal and also the deputy principal of the school uh -huh. to manage this upcoming national school, not only national school, but also an international school. Tell us. Uh, my deputy and the principal, I can say they have the same qualities. They are hardworking, supportive, prayerful. The quality that you know that a leader can have, they both have them. And my principal's name is Mr. Lawrence Tekenyo, and my deputy's name is Mr. Joel Amani. 
This Mr. Joel Ramanya is known all over, not only in St. Mary, but also outside country. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for that. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, thank you very much for that. Thank you. As you have heard from the president of the school, Honorable School, a great school in Taita Taveta County, not only in Taita Taveta County, but also in Kenya at large, his achievement, vision, and he has added that uh, the school slogan is Discipline Matters. Remember that discipline is the, uh, is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. And also, without discipline, one is a piece of junk. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Fondo Adanasi. Until then, continue tuning.